did I reach my goal of securing the bag of $5,000? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brittany Christina of the Brittany Christina Collection, and this channel focuses on luxury, fashion design, and entrepreneurship. So if you are interested in any of those things, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave me a comment. I would love to stay connected with you. So for those who have been following my Poshmark series, this is probably my last video only because I have so much amazing content coming up and I just want to keep it moving, okay? But um, in this video, we are going to be talking about three tips that I've learned throughout me having my shop open um, that pretty much has contributed to me increasing in sales um for those who are new i moved a couple months ago like towards the beginning of the year and essentially when i moved i realized that i just had so much stuff a lot of dead weight a lot of things that i just did not wear anymore and so instead of lugging that stuff everywhere that i go i'm like why not get rid of it okay i probably donate clothes at least four or five times a year um so i decided to try something different and sell clothes and then the money that i make i can use to kind of rebuild and revamp my wardrobe so that's what's going on so i started my poshmark shop um in the beginning of may and my goal was to see how much i can sell by the end of may so just literally four weeks time um, and I had a goal of reaching $5,000. So I am going to get down and dirty into what the process was like, what happened, but most importantly, did I reach my goal of making $5,000? So stick around to find out. So tip number one, if you want to succeed on Poshmark based on what I've learned in such a short period of time, you have to list new items every day. Listing new items every day is so important because you attract new people to your store. I'm not sure how it works. It's in the algorithm. But when you list new items, new people come to your store. I made it a point to list at least 10 new items every day in the beginning. Um, and I felt to share that I started with close to 250 pieces of inventory. So I mean, listing because I was trying to sell a lot in a short period of time, listing 10 items every day was I mean, it had to happen in order for me to reach my goal, essentially. So I listed 10 items every day and I found that in the beginning, I was more consistent at listing in terms of the amount of, of items that I listed on a daily basis versus towards the end. I kind of did fall off a little bit and skip some days, but I did notice that in the beginning, I got a lot of followers um, in a short period of time. Like my first week on Poshmark, I probably was close to like 2000 followers. And that was because I was listing consistently. So there are perks but i think in terms of brand awareness getting more eyes on your store and increasing the chances that you can make a sell it is a must that you list items on a daily basis so the second tip that i have is to share your listings and others as often as you can again the name of the game is awareness and so the more that your item is in front of people the higher your chances are at making a sale okay i probably share or i try to share my listings in my entire closet um at least once every hour so in in at least up to 10 times a day that sounds excessive and it is it's a lot especially if you have like over 100 items in your closet it can be a little cumbersome sometimes and you know i'm not consistent with it all the time although i need to be but when you i find that when you share your items other people will see it and then they'll share it to their you know followers um to the people who follow their closet so it's just it's just a way to get more eyes on it um and then the other thing is sharing when you share other people's listings they return the favor for the most part so 
it's just like a win-win scenario like the goal is you want your product in front of as many people as possible so and to and to be clear sharing your closet is going to a different audience than when you list new items right when you share your closet really the people who follow your closet are the ones that are going to see it when you list new items however that list goes to new people um who are like searching for specific things so listing new items it gets in front of new people and will draw new people to your closet but sharing your items you're simply sharing to the people who already follow and if they choose to reshare your item then technically it will be going to new people and that's also bringing new people so it's two different groups that those products are going to but both are super effective in terms of getting more eyes on your closet and increasing the chance of selling okay so if listing new items will bring new people to your closet and sharing your items or resharing your items will get that product in front of your followers with the potential that they will share and then bring new people to your closet how in the world do you actually secure the bag and make the sale okay i'm glad you asked because this next tip is hands down probably if you do it consistently it you are going to make a lot of money okay so tip number three and how i have successfully closed a deal and make sales is i send offers to likers and also i send offers to people who have added any of my products to a bundle okay let me break it out for you when people like the items nine times out of ten those are people who are interested in potentially buying that product right so people who share your items are just doing you a favor by getting it in front of their followers there are also incentive incentives when you do share other people's items but people who like it they actually have the intent to buy they are more likely to purchase your item okay when there is a feature on Poshmark where you can send offers private offers to everyone who has liked your closet at a discounted price and you can also offer discounted shipping as well um, I find that probably more than not half of my sales that I have had have come from the offers offer to likers feature on Poshmark okay um, but what I do is so you send an offer to likers and they have 24 hours to either accept the offer or counter um, and you can continue sending offers to likers but your the price that you offer has to be at least 10% lower than the, the last offer that you made essentially so after a while when it gets to a point where you're pretty much about to go below ten dollars like it's not really worth it so at that point i then relist the item if it seems like the likers aren't budging or maybe there's not that many likers i'll just relist it so that it seems like it's a new product and i'll just try to get more likes that way if i had to rank the clients or customers with the most interest people who add one of your products from your closet to a bundle on their own they are like hot clients meaning that they are definitely interested and they're just waiting on you to give a good offer so that they can seal the deal okay so that is something to think about if someone adds one of your products to your bundle you need to be in that bundle communicating with them you know putting your best customer service hat on giving them a great offer that they can't refuse asking them if they have any questions telling them that you ship within 24 hours um and that you know everything will be packed up and ready to go like whatever you can do to close the sale those are the people that are the most likely to buy from your closet okay so if anyone adds to your bundle you need to be on that immediately i would say the next tier are the people who do actually like products okay if people like products that means that they're interested 
they like what's going on and so it might take a little bit of push and a little bit of finesse to actually close the cell um but a thing that i do that i didn't realize until after i kind of did a little bit more research on my own is that when people like your item you can actually then go back and share um that item to them directly which will automatically add that item in a bundle for them so it's kind of like you're you're shopping you're you're adding their clothes to a basket on their behalf um and they actually when you do that they actually get notifications on their phone to say so and so has started styling you you know and especially if you so i would normally add the product to a bundle for them on their behalf I'll then go into that bundle. I'll leave them a nice message saying that I ship in 24 hours. You know, I want to offer you a discount. Um, you know, I accept counter offers. Let me know if you have any questions, etc. Um, and then I'll actually give them an offer, you know, either discounted on the price and or shipping as well. Um, and then I'll just wait and see if they respond to it but I find that a lot of my sales do actually come from the people who add the products to the bundles themselves and people who do like. When I do the offer to likers feature, I get a lot of sales from that. Definitely in the beginning, I felt like I was focused on follower count. The follower count does not matter y'all at all. It doesn't matter, you can have I've seen hundreds and thousands of followers, you know, accounts with hundreds of thousands of followers. And I've seen accounts with like, you know, 40 followers, but they still have sales. So the follower count does not matter. It's about the engagement. Um, Poshmark is highly, a highly social platform, right? So sharing is super important. Listing products is super important. And also, um, just making sure to send offers and send good offers. Um, and that's how you get to sell, close the deal. So that's what has worked for me. All right, so the question that we have all been waiting for after it was all said and done based on your four weeks, which is a very short period of time, y'all. Did I reach my goal of securing the bag of $5,000? Okay. Before I get into whether I did or not, I want to just kind of throw some facts out there. So fact number one is that I had my shop open and it's still live, it's still open uh, for about four, uh, four or five weeks at this point. Um, I currently have about 120 items listed in my closet so to be honest I, I haven't even gone through and listed all of the items that I actually have to list I have about 250 I only was able to list 120 because like I said I fell off I was not consistent towards the end there's been a lot going on so I I've only listed about half of the items I actually have. With that being said, based on the short period of time that I've been on Poshmark and not knowing, like everything, every week has been trial and error and I have not, you know, I was figuring it out as I go. Did I make my goal of $5,000? Hell no, y'all. Okay, I am nowhere near $5,000. Um, I have made, I believe I've made $170 so far. So I'm close to 200. Um, and I probably average about one sale a week. Lately, that has gone up to two sales a week. So I am doing something right. But I, I really did have a slow start just trying to figure out the platform. But I know what I need to do. Like I know what to do now. And it's, it's already improving. Like I'm starting to see the positive effects on that so i don't know who i thought i was you know thinking that i could just join and make all this money in a short period of time i'm sure people do it but like i've i've never done this before right like this is i'm new to the game so i will still keep my shop up and live um i am gonna see how much i can sell by october because 
yeah, I have some plans, you know, there's some things going on. So all my inventory, everything needs to be gone. If I don't sell every, whatever, whatever I don't sell in October, we'll just end up getting donated. So we'll see what happens. Um, definitely check out my Poshmark shop. I have a lot of good things there and listen, everything must go. So I'm accepting all offers at this point because I just want to get rid of my stuff. But it has still been a great experience um, and a great way to make some, some side money. Now, I do want to just fill y'all in on what I got going on in the future and especially in the next couple of my videos. So as I am getting rid of a lot of my clothes out my closet, at the same time, I am also revamping my wardrobe, okay? I am in the process of building my personal brand, um, but up in my style game. And so this has been super fun to just shop because I haven't shopped like this in years. So I do have a wardrobe revamp video coming up. So definitely make sure to subscribe, to stick around, to kind of see the full transformation of my closet and also my style. Um, it's been fun. So <laughs> Thanks again for sticking around with me during this video. I highly recommend that if you're interested in just making some extra money, go to Poshmark, y'all. I know that there are other um, kind of reselling apps and stuff out there too. I mean, reselling is a really great way to make some extra income. So definitely try it out. And I will see you all in my next video.